Let's read scriptures we talk. Araba leo ni chila mudim. Let's read uh, Genesis. Genesis. Yes. Genesis 19. Genesis 19. From verse 15. Araba leo tuwa u verse 15. You can read. When the morning dawned, the angels urged Lot to hurry, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, lest you be consumed in the punishment of the city. And while he lingered, the man took hold of his hand, his wife's hand, and the hands of his two daughters. The Lord being merciful to him, and they brought him out and set him outside the city. So it came to pass when they had brought them outside that he said, Escape for your life. Do not look behind you, nor stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountains, lest you be destroyed. Then Lord said to them, Please know my lords, Indeed, now your servant has found favor in your sight, and you have increased your mercy, which you have shown me by saving my life. But I cannot escape to the mountains, lest some evil overtake me and I die. See now, this is near, this city is near enough to flee to, and it is a little one. Please let me escape there. It is not a little one, and my soul shall live. And he said to him, See, I have favored you concerning this thing also, in that I will not overthrow this city for which you have spoken. Hurry, escape there, for I cannot do anything until you arrive there. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zo. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, you know, I was reading this scripture today. I found a lesson of today. Okay. How can a man find such grace? After he has been instructed and still they change what they said. You can hear, Lord, when he was told that escape. Go that side. And the Bible says he hesitated. Bible Still, he was given time. And then he said he want to go that side to a small town. And still, he was allowed. I was learning about how can God give us all our wishes. Just write your request. Because a request means your wishes. This man said, I can see if I travel that side. I'll be overpowered. This shows that he had no enough faith. And he chose to go to a small town. Which was a little bit closer. Still, he was allowed. When I was looking at this, I said, Why God gave him those kind of requests. He was not different with the people who are lacking faith. I found that it was because of Abraham. 
If you remember in Genesis 18. Maybe if you can go and read from 16. Genesis 18 from 16. Genesis 18 from verse 16. The Bible says, due to the friendship that God had to Abraham. And also he was a servant of God. When God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he came with two angels. And they were giving out an announcement of, you know, your your wife will have a child. And also reprimanded Sarah why she was laughing. But when they wanted to go to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, God spoke with angels. I cannot hide anything from this man. Why? Because Lot was like a son. To Abraham. Therefore, that's the reason why Lord was saved. But God here said, I cannot hide anything from Abraham. In other words, I cannot go beyond his wishes. I must make sure that whatever I want to do. It's not contrary to the wishes of Abraham. Meaning that when God wants to do something, you will ask Abraham, Abraham, what about this? Abraham said, no, no, no. So also to the children of Abraham, it was like that. Think about when God wants to do something, he said, but I cannot go beyond your wishes. I want to perform your desire. One of the best meaning of wish is a desire. You cannot desire what you have. You desire what you are crying for. So what God wants, he wants to give you the desires of your heart. So he said he cannot leave the wishes of Abraham and he destroys Sodom and Gomorrah. Automatically, he won't be happy Abraham won't be happy if Lot can be killed. That's the reason why though Lot hesitated the angels could still wait. Listen to this. Some of us, we are not so perfect in our faith. Sometimes we delay and we are frustrated. Sometimes we don't know where to go. But God wants to perform our request. Our wishes are so important to Him because it glorifies the Father God. Can you just tell your neighbor, say, God wants to perform and bring forth your desire which is your request. Have you ever find that you know by the time of Daniel how how the things were going when everybody was announced that Daniel and all those people who are soothsayers their failing to find the dream of a king. But you find Daniel say, you know, the king was in hurry. If you can read there, you will realize that already people will we went out for Daniel. But already the message reached 
a man who was supposed to speak with the king. That me, Daniel, I will make a request to God. I will find answers that will stop what the enemy is playing. Our wishes are there to stop the plan of the enemy. Our wishes are there to stop the plan of our enemies. Let me give an example. It says it is, your enemy is busy trying to stop you. And they say nothing will happen to you. And now we have wishes. And those wishes is something that our enemies say will never happen. I want to tell you that God will perform that wish. And your enemy will stop. In the name of Jesus. Look at Philippians 4 verse 6. The Bible says, let's make our request to be known unto God. In other words, it's not wrong to tell our God our wishes. It's not wrong to tell our God our desires. We make petition and we tell our God and here it's clear let's make your request to be, make your request to be known to God if you want to see that you can read John 15 John 15 if you want to see that you can read John 15 verse 7, verse 7. the Bible says if your words if my ways remain in you, you will ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Can you just read that in Amplified Bible? If you check in Amplified Bible, it says, if my ways remain in you, whatever you ask, it shall be done for you. So it means there are conditions of making our wishes it is the ways of our God. So here Jesus was speaking. He said, Abide in my word. And if you abide in my word, I will abide in you. So now when you have wishes, they will be done. You, you hear it so simple. But when you come to the end, it is so simple. You don't need just to fast and pray. 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 You don't need just we are developing a lot of strategies of reaching God. Sometimes we want to go to the mountain. Because some people have gone to the mountain. And they got the results. Sometimes we want to do what other people did. This is the scripture is simple. If your ways are if my ways are in you, if a man chia kalimahulina, the wishes will be done. Dito mochalina dia petahala. The deal. Kita ba ifelechi. Kita ba ifelechi. Man chia kalimahulina. I found that if the ways are in you, kito sor man chia kalimahulina. The ways makes our prayers to be according to His will. Man chia dira ordi tapelo chia na licho na dita mai sana licha to ya hai. In other words, come and chama. Pray according to His will. God have got no choice. He will perform your wishes. Tell the neighbor, pray according to His will. All you are crying for will come to pass. Amen. 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 Amen
you know when I'm, I'm sharing this to you I've been, I've been having this issue of all of us we make faith important because we cannot reach all our wishes if we can reach all our wishes faith will be void so now if, as long as you have got a wish as long as we know little Allow faith to work in you. And, and faith can't work without his word. So if you have that weight, the word of God in you, that faith will produce the results. Your wishes will be perfect. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Read Matthew 20 to 25. Maybe we can just say 20, 20, yes. Matthew 20, 20, 20 to 28. Let's read that verse. 20, 20, 28. How many of you want to see your wishes? It will be performed. I say it will be performed. Just read Matthew 20. Then Salome the mother of Zebedee's children, uh -huh. James and John, came up to Jesus yes. with their sons and kneeling down in respect, asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that in your kingdom these two signs of mine may sit in positions of honor and authority one on your right and one on your left. But Jesus replied, You do not realize what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup of suffering that I am about to drink? They answered, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my cup of suffering, but to sit on my right hand and on my left, this is not mine to give. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the other ten heard this, they were resentful and angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles have absolute power and lord it over them. And they are great men exercise authority over them, tyrannizing them. It is not this way among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you shall be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your willing and humble slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. I want us to look on that as a very important scripture for us today. I think it will end up me telling you why God allowed everything to happen that way. The way Jesus was so calm Miracles were done in a very simple way. There was no mother who could not have desire. You know, this mama was very right. 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 A son's becoming something. And when she came towards Jesus, Jesus could see her wishes. And then already Jesus could say, you know, I know your wishes are done. And Even before other people know what is she wishing. 
just say your wishes are done. But he brought a lesson of making us to understand how God performs our wishes. The wishes cannot just be done. Even himself, he said, can you see, I'm an example of coming here and that's why you see all my wishes are performed. There was no sick person who would go to Jesus and go home being sick. There was no cripple who would go home being crippled. So that's why Jesus said, that is why Jesus said, I'm an example I'm in this position because I have paid the price. So the price that you need to pray are you going to be afford to pay it? That was the first question when Jesus was asking them. Right. Let me show you in the scripture where we are reading. Where Mama was reading you will see that Jesus spoke something that really challenged all of us. I want to show you on verse 23. He said to them, you will drink my cup of suffering. But to sit on my right and on my left, this is not mine to give, give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. I want to explain that expression. That expression means for you to sit on the right, on the left, you must be prepared by the father. Preparation is so important. Otherwise, if not, you will have pride. When God prepare you, He was not referring preparing the place here. The place was announced left to right. left You have to be prepared by the Father. Not long when in Charisse. Uh, when we start to have prophets, prophets, prophets. What I wanted to tell you. The reasons why there was all this confusion on them. Is because all this confusion on them. Already they were already announced people to be prophets that I don't know. Already someone has been told you a prophet. Already someone has been told you a prophet. Whereas me and my God, we don't know. I'm sure you hear what I'm telling you. And then, when God allowed that to happen, was to remove all of them because already they have prepared people that God didn't prepare. If, if I prepare you and God didn't prepare you, I become your God. And God will leave me and you. I'm just telling you so that you understand. So here, God prepare you. You must pay the penalty. But him decide that is why you can still fast for 40 days and Satan will never come to tempt you. Satan I don't know if you hear me. That's why when Jesus fasted 40 days, and that's 40 why I just Satan fasted came. 40 days, sleep 40 nights. Satan had delayed. But you can fast 40 days and 40 nights. But now we cannot wait. We cannot wait. We cannot wait. We still my friend. Satan are raw. We are still my friend. Because you are not prepared by him. Oh, when I want to look at you, I want to look at you. Well, that fasting is part 
of the preparation because it's him who put you in the pot when you are cooked you present what is required your prayer becomes a life that is needed to produce what God wants you to produce I don't know if you are hearing me God wants to give you your wishes Many of us, if God can say, this is what I suppose you, you, you are supposed to be. Because we are wrongly wired. We can still deny that. And we deny even the results there. The reason why today we are praying and we are not receiving our wishes. We are on some people's corners. Let's allow God to prepare us. Tell them, allow God to prepare you. You will produce what is required. Your request will be met. The moment you say, oh Lord, it will happen. God will give you things that you are never even fasting for. Because you are in a position where God plays you. Allow God to prepare you. Allow God to prepare you. All your wishes will come to pass. Allow God to prepare you. All your wishes will come to pass. I'm sure you have read about Solomon. Before Solomon became a king, what Solomon Absalom wanted to take it over. Absalom When Solomon, Absalom died. Absalom Adonijaria. He took some soldiers and get, and get, and get, and get, and get, and get a prophet. A He knew that his wishes because of that prophet will come to pass. And that time say, Mama, Mama, you are not going to see this the king. Say, Tell the king this. Then the king will say, Oh, Mama, you are not going to see this. And then also I'll be coming. And then when the king was hearing the story, Nathan was approaching. And the, the king says, I remember what I've said. When Solomon was born, I said Jedida was born. So now, why this man is taking what does not belong Why to him? Listen to this. What God wants to do, he is to give you your wishes. And and you need to know that you are not yourself. You are the one who is not 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 the so therefore, if you know yourself, you know your wishes, you know your desires, we are facing troubles and turmoils. People are looking on what other people are having. And they desire to have them. But as God wants to give them better. Be yourself. You can be better than what you are desiring. I pray that you find your wishes. In the name of Jesus. Do you know what is happening now? It's like that time. Mary and Martha when Lazarus was inside the tomb what was happening that day everybody was saying ah the man is finished shame to those ladies but they didn't know that Mary swish 
will come to pass. Mary was just crying. Marianna. Martha was saying the same. But when Jesus came, he just said, I know. I know Lazarus. I know Mary. I know Martha. So if you believe in me, you take my word that I have. If I say something, something will happen. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. But before he said, the spectators were saying shame he failed his friend oh shame to the family they are not even married and this man is gone they didn't know the wishes of this tree Lazarus come forth can I tell you this people are talking about you they think you won't make it. They are against your wishes and your desires. But I'm hearing the name of Jesus that all those wishes they will come to you one by one. He will perform them. He's Jehovah. He's about to do something that will shock them. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care what is happening with you. Sometimes your spirit goes down. When you think about what you are going through. Don't forget that you cannot solve problems that way. What you need to do is to see him as he is. Those wishes that God can still see when people are laughing at you outside but your heart is bubbling talking about what he can do you can still see him performing it I don't know if you hear me they say you won't work it is your wish to work I'm standing with you today I say you are going to get a better job better job than the job there if you believe, shout hallelujah. Your wishes will silence your enemy. Can I tell you, do you know that sometimes God will live in the dark so that those who can talk, they can talk. When they are busy talking, he's laughing at them when he's sitting on the throne because they don't know what is coming. What is coming will prove that they are liars. Sometimes they allow you to be lowered down when you are going down so that they talk. But listen to this. Don't leave those wishes carry on believing that is the same yesterday, today and forever. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Your wishes are there to cancel the plan of the enemy. In fact, this is my message. Your wishes are there to cancel the plan of the enemy. Remember that when you wish this, your enemy wish the opposite. So, now, where are the enemies when God performs your wishes? That is the question that God is asking you. My son, my daughter, where are the enemies? As I'm doing this, you will see that you don't have enemies. You will see that when God wants to do something, you won't even consult your enemy. It will shock you and shock your neighbor. If you believe, shout hallelujah. First John 5.15 John chapter 5.15 If we know that he hears us and he listens to us 
in whatever we ask. We know that He will grant whatever we ask. Can you just hear the confidence in Jesus? 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 That he will grant us. If we know that he knows, we know that he will perform it. This scripture is a very simple scripture. Can you read it aloud in your Bible, verse 15? You saw the verse there? Do you know that we Christians, when I'm sharing this message, in my heart, I feel we don't know God we are saving. Do you know that we are saving? We are not saving. We are not saving. We don't know this God we are saving. We are not saving. We are not saving. Do you know that He has sit there for a billion years? Do you know that He has sit there for a billion years? Do you know that He has sit there for a billion years? He can sit there for a billion years. If we can stand up here, it's all over the world. You find the whole world is finished. We don't know this. You know, 24 elders. The elders, they are even afraid to look at him. They are around in the circle there. But they are afraid to look at him. Because they know what this God carried. If you just say yes, no one can say no. Do you know this? This these angels who are close to him. The Bible says the Bible angels that take care of small children. The Bible says the angels that take care of small children. The Bible says the angels that take care of small children. Who always see his face. The Bible says the angels that take care of you know, this is the same God that if you see his face, you will never live on earth again. This is the one who said, let there be light. Today we call it sun. We gave it a name. This is the same God. Without him, you don't have a ground to stand. We are in the atmosphere, in the sphere where, you know, there's too much wind that can blow us out. But he planted us here. I feel like we are serving God that we don't know. Listen. The witches and wizards are using the same ground in Jesus. I'm talking about devil down in the sea. It's what he created. Listen to this. We need to know that this God, if we know and have confidence in him, when we pray and ask him, and if we know he will do it, he will perform it. What is a car to him? What is a house to him? What about the healing if he created your body? What about the healing if he created your body? You were a tiny embryo. Look how you become. I'm talking about the same God that we think we know. Sometimes we doubt him. Even Peter doubted him. One time when he was in prison, and the church was having a wish, and they were praying, Lord, we have got a wish. We know King Herod killed James, but not Peter. Peter is our leader. When God began to perform their wish, when Peter 
came close to the door. A girl called Rhoda ran when she was hearing a knock. No one was expecting. Everybody was in fear. When she opened. It's Peter. When God has granted their wish, still, they doubted that God can hear them. You know, that's our problem today. There's nothing that God can deny us. In the book of Romans 8, from verse 31, it says, if he gave us his only begotten son, he can still give us all things through him. If he has given us Jesus, Jesus the Messiah, Messiah, he can still give us all things through him. We need to know, we must come to know that there is nothing that can stop the plan of God upon our lives. Can you ask your neighbor, are you sure God will give you your wishes? Can you look at your neighbor? You will see, even when your neighbor pray, your neighbor is tired. Ask your neighbor the last question. Are you sure that your wish will happen? And your neighbor say what? Okay, let's read the last scripture we close. Let's read the last scripture we close. Let's read the last scripture Let's read Matthew 21. Matthew 21. We read from 20. Arabaleng Matthew 21. Read to me, Mola, verse 20. To 22. To 22. Let's read. I want us to carry on reading that scripture. Read, Mama. Kenya kwa ritchole pili read. Bala lingwalo leo. Let's read. That scripture is touching me a lot. Matthew 21, Revelation verse 22. Listen to Mama when she's reading. And whatever you ask for in prayer. Stop there, Mama. Whatever you ask for in prayer. Read, Mama. Believing. Believing. You will receive. Believing you will receive. Amen. Carry on, Mama. When he entered the temple area. The chief priests and the elders of the people Mama, came to him. you were reading what? I was re reading verse 22. I say from 20 to 22. Okay. Read, start from 20. From verse 20. Yes. When the disciples saw it, they were astonished and asked. When the disciples, how, listen, when the disciples saw the tree, the tree dried up. Uomile. They were so much astonished. Because Jesus said, no one will eat from you. In the morning, they were so astonished. Okay, read, Mama. How is it that the fig tree has withered away at all once? Jesus. How, how, how is it that the fig tree has withered away at all once? Can you hear that question? All right, okay, carry on reading. Jesus replied to them. Jesus replied to them. I assure you and most sure solemnly say to you. I assure you, yes. If you have faith, if you personal have, trust and confidence in me. If you have faith, which is personal trust and confidence in me. And do not doubt or allow yourself to be drawn in two directions. Or do not doubt or drawn into two directions. You will not only do what was done to the fig tree. Oh my God. You, you, he was telling them, he said, you people, you will not do what was done only with the fig tree. But even if you say to this mountain, even if you say, to this mountain. In other words, he was showing them there was a mountain. He said, this mountain. Be taken up and thrown into the sea. Be taken out here and thrown into the sea. It will happen if God wills it. 
It will happen if God wills it. And whatever you ask for in prayer, whatever, a car, a house, banana, bread, whatever, whatever, you ask believing, in prayer, believing, 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 you will receive. You will receive. This is the simple scripture Jesus was speaking when he was in Galilee. This is the sea of Tiberias. There are mountains around. Can you see this? This can fall to the sea. You can say it and it if will happen. If Jesus was speaking in Jerusalem, you will be saying, can you see this mountain? You see this mountain of olives. It, if you say it must be thrown in the sea, you can change that. You can, it can happen. If Jesus was saying here now, here, what if Jesus is saying here, where we are, what are you going to do now? You are still going to say, oh God, let me climb the mountain. Oh God, oh God. If Jesus is here now, why are we failing to understand this? If we say it, God will perform it. Your, your mouth is a tool of changing whatever you want to change or bringing whatever you want in life. Stop closing your mouth. You have got a serious weapon of changing your life. Whatever you say, if you believe, you know, there was a time where no, Jesus said to, to, to a mulberry tree, it's not only this one, mulberry tree, wow, what he, you can what say it, it can be planted that side. It I think out of our mouth we can build the house. I, I, I'm saying I think when I'm reading the scripture, our desires can come. I think you can uh, do something without money. You can build a house without money. And you say, I want to see a house here. And somebody come and say, Go say, I must buy you bricks. I'll to the furniture. Out of, you know, God wants to give you the desire of your money. It's, it's not money that answers everything. It's your mouth now. God can give you all your wishes. I don't know if you are hearing that. Are you ready to see your wishes being performed today?